Hello everyone, we hope you're doing beautifully well. It's Monday morning, it's time for another hopefully productive good old week. A valued viewer request from Artemia yesterday. Cap, here is a valued, mm, not really, viewer request. P-47 Thunderbolt pilots used to bounce their bullets off the road to attack Tiger tanks on their unarmoured underside. God, that just doesn't sound realistic, does it? Would this work in DCS? And we've got something to watch, so let's watch. The tanks were very tough. The Tiger tanks they had were really good. And they all carried, or most of them carried, a fuel tank behind them in a trailer. So what we would do is not worry about the tank. We'd hit the trailer and set it on fire. Uh -huh. And if it came loose or whatever, then we would shoot the bullets right underneath the tank and they'd bounce up from the ground or whatever row they were on or whatever up into inside the tank because they weren't armor plated underneath but they were on top and on the side so we still found a way to get in right so they would first shoot the fuel tank that the tank was dragging which is obviously an easy target but it obviously, that wouldn't damage the tank you know they would just put the shutoff valve and and you know no, no major loss and then they would come from behind and shoot underneath the tank and the belly of the tank wasn't armoured, apparently, so a ricocheted half-incher would apparently go through that armour, which I struggle to believe, but because the kind of deflection angle just doesn't seem right, but okay, fair enough. Now, here's the thing, though. Surely tanks are designed to go over mines. Therefore, they should have armour on the bottom, shouldn't they? I don't have the foggiest, obviously. Tanks are not designed to go over mines, necessarily. Tanks are not designed to go over In fact, mines. the weakest part of the tank, I believe, is the belly. Right. The rear and the belly. So if anyone knows, in particularly a Tiger, a, what's that, a Panzer 6 or 5? I always get it mixed up. I think it's a 6, but it may be a 5. Second thing, and most importantly, like I've discovered here, I'm not the only one that's a terrible shot in the P-47. Watch this. Tanks are very tough. The Tiger tanks they had. They just spray and pray anywhere sort of near that road, and about one in every million bullets hits. So it's not just me that They're just really rudders all over the place. They and... all carried, or most of them carried, a fuel tank. Obviously, he wasn't using his teapot. No, he wasn't using teapot. Well, that one there has had the uh, fuel tank destroyed. So what we would do uh, gang. is not worry about the tank. Drug gang. Uh, okay, well, let's go and see if it's modeled in DCS. I highly doubt it, but you never know. Okay, myself and RC are in P47D jugs. We are equipped with eight times half-inch cannon. We've read up on the Panzer VI, the Tiger. It was built with a bottom armor of 25 mil steel. Now, I find it incredibly hard to believe that a ricocheted ball half-inch round with reduced velocity could go through half-inch steel. In fact, I'm almost certainly telling you it's just not possible, but there you go. I'm also reading on the stream, vast as everything I'm reading about the issue always falls back to overclaiming by the Allied pilots with no evidence of actual Tiger kills. Machine gun, not cannon, Ito says. Another comment, apparently there was a cooling grate for the engine. Um, that we can get to so I think we're gonna have to say that we're mm, cautiously skeptic about the real one. Oh Ooh, they are very steep Arcee! <laughs> that didn't work very well. Where are it? they? Oh jeez. I'll have to, have to turn around. We're going from behind. <laughs> so uh, we'll, try, we'll try that one again. Okay, let's get the centralised. Let's get them. Wow, this is so hard on the looks. There we go. Woo! Let's check for damage. And they're on full health. I always have a problem with a dragon to the left. Right. Puts my aim off load. Well, I got you. Yeah. <laughs> you did, or they yeah. did? I got you. I definitely hit you. Oh. Right, let's go around again. <laughs> no, we'll go for one Problem more. Problem is that you hit me. We'll go for one more run. I mean, at least one of our bullets should, you know, I know we're spraying all over the place, but a law of averages, at least one of our shells should get through bullets, whatever. I have a real problem with aiming at the moment. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing wrong. My plane's dragging to the right horribly. Oh, I think it's because I come off the throttle. That's probably why, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's, that, yeah. That definitely up. has the... Right, there you go. Right. 
Right, so this time I'm going to stay on the throttle. Oh yeah, that's miles better. Oh, I can aim now. Sort of. Right, if that didn't get an uh, underbelly ricochet, then I'm a Chinaman. And everything's 100% perfect. If you go for one more, and I'll watch the bullets come down. Make it nice and good, I'll see. Okay. By the gun. Better. By the gun. Enough talking, more firing. How they're aiming their 88 to you, that's so funny. <laughs> no ricochets. And we have damage zero. I don't think it works in DCS. I'm, mm, I have a percentage. I don't think it worked in real life. However, I'm usually wrong everything I say. So, uh, argue amongst yourselves. Anything you want to add to that? RC. Nope. Let me dread that. See you later.